Let's take a look at the rest of our book. Just click the right arrow to advance to the next page. The left arrow takes you back. This is the inside cover. Looks great. This spread looks great too, but I really love this image and want to make it bigger and have it bleed off the edges of the page. I can do that by clicking the layout icon here. Now I'm seeing the available layout options for this page and for this image. As you can see, there are a variety of great looking options. I'm going to pick the full bleed option here and then click apply. There it is. Wow, that's impressive. Let's continue. Okay, here are a couple pages with some fun multi-image layouts. They look great already, but let's make them look even better by adjusting their layouts. First, let's work on the left-hand page. As you saw on the cover, we can grab the space between images to resize multiple images at once. I like this shot on the right, but it feels cramped. Let's make it bigger. Notice how the other images smoothly resize. That's better, but now let's make them all bigger. That's looking better, but I'd still like to see some other options for how this page could look. Let's go back to the layout picker. Here again, we're seeing options for how this page could be laid out, again, using the images that are already on the page. And as you can see, it really is a great way to see the variety of different ways that this page could look and pick the one that really speaks to you. Looking around, I think the one that really speaks to me is this one. So I'm going to select that, and now as we come back to the layout, we can see that it's applied, that layout. Let's work on the right-hand page now. I like this three-image composition, but I think it could be cool to have a fourth image, and one that perhaps picks up this nice lavender palette here. So let's go to our image tray and grab this image, and I'm going to drag it onto the page, and notice that as I do, I get layout suggestions as I move it around for places I could put it or images I could swap it with. I think I want to put it right here, so I'm going to just drop it right there. You can see that the image is adjusted on the page, and I'm just going to do a little tuning up now. I'm going to move that one up, this one down, pick this guy up a little, maybe bring this one down a little. There, that's kind of a fun, interesting four-up layout. Let's move on. Ooh, I love this image on the left, and as I recall, there were some similar takes of it that I might want to pick from. To see those, I'm going to select the image, and now the image palette displays, and there's a similar image icon here, which when I select it, shows me the other takes of this image. I can browse them and see how they look in context by clicking each here. As it turns out, I think I like the one I started with, so I'm just going to keep that and click outside the box to accept it. I also want to make this bigger because it's such a great image, so back to the Change Layout dialog where I can select the full bleed option. Fantastic. Moving on to the right side of this page, I like both of these images, but it looks to me like the one on top has the horizon slightly askew, so I'm going to select this image. Here again is the image palette, and I'm going to pick the rotate tool and rotate it just slightly. There we go. Let's move on. Ooh, I love this image on the left. And as I recall, there were some alternate takes on this that I might want to pick from. So I'm going to select the image, and now we can see the image palette. And this icon is the similar images icon, so I'm going to click it. And now you can see that I have this little palette of the similar images and I can click on each one of these to see how it looks in context. I think I like this really saturated one, but is it maybe too much? Hmm. I think I'm going to go with this pink one over here. So clicking anywhere, out, selects it, and then I want it bigger again, so I'm going to go back to the Change Layout dialog, make it full bleed again. Let's keep going. Ooh, love this spread. Mm, that one's great too. This one, on the other hand, is a little even for my tastes. I do like all the panoramic images, and I think it might be fun to try and make a triplet out of these wide images. So let's move this top image on the right over to the left-hand page. We can do that by selecting it, and then selecting the Move tool. 
Now I can grab the image and drag it over here. And as you see, again, layouts are suggested as I drag. I'm going to drop it here in the middle. Move this one up a little bit. Yep, love it. Moving on to the right side, I'm just now noticing that this image had people in it, which I'm really not wild about as this is kind of about scenics. So I'm going to select this image and I'm going to delete it using the trash icon. I recall that there was an image that had a heart on it, which I like. There it is. So I'm going to grab that heart image and drag it to the page here.